put them on and got caught on the chair and the cord and it snapped me right in the head. Oh, maybe it knocked some sense into me. Barb Larson is with us. She's the, uh, let's see if I can remember this right, Barb, membership and special events coordinator. That's correct, Gordy. Wow. You After 8,000 years, I got your title. Yay. <laughs> Let's see, how many years you've been on the program? Anyway, thanks for coming in, Bob. Well, thank you for having us. It's always our pleasure to come and share with the listeners uh, the work that the Chamber does and how we help make Fairboro a better place to live, work, and visit. 2015 was a successful year? It was a great year for us. Some change, but change is good. So, yes. Get a lot of new members? Um, we had some new members. It wasn't our best year for getting members, um, but I do have to say that our numbers tell us that we are between 65 and 70 percent saturated in the business community. So for a chamber our size and a community our size, we are in very, very good position okay. with the community. Mm -hmm. You know what the average is? Just out of curiosity. In, in a community for right. business saturation? saturation. I, I would guess 55 to 60 percent. Okay, so, so right there in the We average. are just sneaking above the bar. Yeah, yeah, just a little above average. But, you know, every business is always a prospect. Um, and whether a business is a member of our chamber or not, we want them to be successful, and we will do what we can to help them. So, uh, but, of course, our work takes member support. So you got varying degrees of memberships. If, if John, for example, John Anderson had a personal business, he would not pay as much due as, uh, you know, like a Metcon or something. Correct, correct. Our membership has a, a, a base amount, and then we charge, uh, the investment is based on number of full-time equivalent employees, so that the Metcons or Mercury Minnesotas and Daikin, yeah. uh, you know, that have larger number and opportunity for those people to come and engage in, and be serviced by our, our programs, um, would pay more than an individual business owner or we do have some individual members people that are retired that want to support the work we do and continue to be engaged um, there's a smaller fee for uh, an individual and then we have uh, yet a separate fee for nonprofit uh, members um, groups that um, have paid staff or not paid staff and and want to support the work we do and, and need our partnership, or want our partnership. Farmers? Farmers, through our egg committee, we have several uh, farmers that have uh, farms, businesses, and so they choose to uh, be members. And of course, we are always promoting our egg committee, which Mr. Jerry Grosskreitz is an active member and former chair of that committee, actually and we know how important ag is to our area so we want to continue to support that work did you say active active doesn't describe jerry very well here does it active. <laughs> oh come on active and jerry <laughs> you know <laughs> i think words. <laughs> i think it depends on the season when you get them if he's planting or harvesting or I'm just in teasing. between just yeah. teasing that's oh. all i'm doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh you know this john's laughing I noticed John is laughing. He can take that up with Jerry later. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Speaking of ah. Jerry, he'll be hosting this show tomorrow. Ag marketing specialist from the U of M, Ed Usset, will be his guest. Okay. Ed Usset. He'll talk about, he's from the Center for Farm Financial Management, so he'll talk about, you know, ag marketing in 2016, what to look forward to, yeah. you know, when to sell the beans, when to sell the corn, when to sell yep. the corn, all that good stuff. Perfect. That's tomorrow on AM Minnesota, because I'll be heading back from Moorhead. Carter Martin is with us in the Paradise Center for the Arts on Friday. Okay. They have some events coming up this weekend. They do. They have a full slate. And, you know, as uh, our office housing the Main Street um, group, and then, of course, uh, we are the agency for the tourism department. Right. Um, I, I have to take a break. Okay. Then we're all playing Osage and Northwood, Iowa. In studio today on our AM Minnesota program is Barb Larson. She's the membership and special events coordinator of the Fairboro Area Chamber of Commerce. And we appreciate her stopping by today to vi visit with us. By the way, how's your president doing? 
Kim Anderson? Oh my gosh, thanks for asking. Um, Kim Anderson, uh, she's a remarkable, resilient woman. She came back to work this week on a limited basis, a few hours a day, although she, I would guess, would tend to stretch that a little bit. That sounds like Kim. She is, you know, uh, we are we are so fortunate to have someone in her position leading our chamber that uh, has the background that she has, having been a former council person, and um, she is respected and regarded highly throughout the state in the chambers. Um, she brings uh, integrity and uh, intelligent thinking to our chamber, and always has the best interest of our members and the business community at heart. So I can't say enough. I've learned so much from her, and she is not only a great colleague, but she's a, a good friend of mine. And well, that's cool. we're, we're grateful to have her back. She is on the mend. She is going to be 100% before we know it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. She worked here for many years. Ago. She did, yeah. And she, oftentimes when we're talking about things, she talks about her sales career and, and uh, her work here at the radio station. And I think it, to some point that made her who she is, you know, working with people and finding what, listening to people, what do you want and how does your business work? And I think that's really made her, uh, you know, brought her to the depth that she is now. Right. Well, yeah. you, if you work in sales, you work with a lot of different people and yeah. different personalities. So you have to you know, learn to get along with all Absolutely. kinds of Absolutely. Absolutely. Make the customer happy. So So it's kind of similar. Yeah, it is. It is. It's customer service. You know, that is uh, customer service, actually, is something that we're going to be really promoting through our organization, through the Chamber, in 2016. Joe Cullinan, the store director at hy V, is going to be our board chair. And each year, our board chair kind of takes an idea of what he wants um, to promote throughout the year. And Joe has told us that getting back to the basics, customer service and treating your customer right is what he, obviously more than that, but that's something he wants to work on this year. And we will hopefully be having some seminars for our members, um, helping them learn different ways to engage their staff and, and help positive customer service so that the customers are feeling valued and um, makes us a place that people want to do business, you know, in Faribault. Yeah. 2016 brings a lot with it. Of course, one of your biggest events of the year is your gala, right? Our gala just around the corner, February 6th, so a month from today, uh, we'll be at the American Legion. We will be passing the gavel. Rod Gramsey, MRG Tool and Die, our 2015 chair, who was a phenomenal, phenomenal young man who stepped in while Kim, you know, had was out with her injury and really supported our staff and and brought a lot to the table. Um, we'll be passing the gavel to Joe Cullinan, our our 2016 chair, and. We will hear some closing thoughts from Rod, and we'll hear some ideas that Joe is going to bring um, in 2016, and we'll thank our volunteers and our board and all the folks that make us who we are. We'll have a great dinner. We will be entertained by Dueling Pianos. Uh, Duly Noted is the name of the group, and they um, I, I understand they're two comedic women who are kind of like Lucy and Ethel, if you go back to that era, and uh, really banter and engage the crowd and are musically talented. And so they will cap off the evening for us. They're uh, sponsored by Metcon Companies, is our entertainment sponsor. This is dueling pianos, not to be confused with dueling banjos. Correct, and dueling guitars, right. who we had dueling guitars last year. Yeah, they've been on this show. Right? Yeah, oh my gosh, those guys were great. And I, I understand these women, I've watched their videos, phenomenal, great entertainers. So they will cap off our evening, we will have a great dinner, we'll have a social hour sponsored by the Orthopedic and Fracture Clinic of Faribault, uh, and then a lovely dinner and some dessert sponsored by hy V. Uh, we have some... We'll put the menu on our website. Oh, yeah, we're going to have oh, some beef, beef tips and glazed chicken and salad and potatoes. Oh, it's always lovely. Yeah. The Legion does a fabulous job. So 
um, we're delighted to go back there, and they're very kind and, and uh, generous to us. So it be a great evening. I encourage people to uh, call the chamber, 334-4381, or go on our website, fairboatmn.org, uh, and click on the events tab, and you can sign up to attend. It is a, a pre-registration to attend the gala. So. This is open to the public? It really is a membership event. Okay. Um, if somebody really wanted to come, we certainly wouldn't turn them away, but it is largely a membership event. It is actually the largest gathering of our membership at one event throughout the year. Bigger than Taste of Fab. Well, yes, because that we really promote to the general public. Right. So this is really a membership event. So, uh, But largest gathering of our membership and a celebration of our membership celebration of our achievements in 2015 looking forward to goals in 2016 and and thanking our volunteers isn't that super bowl weekend it is it's the night before the super bowl so come Which, and you know the vikings are going to be in that so. do you think so not really no you know I, I have to say this about the vikings and i hope i don't uh, make anyone angry but it seems like they bring us almost to the top of the hill and then it's like and eh, we roll back down yeah, well, so, yeah, it's been that way. You know, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> another great Minnesota uh, reason to cheer. Yeah. So. Yeah, they're in the playoffs. They are. Yep. North Cent North Central Division champions or mm -hmm. something. Yep. yep. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> it is. Nobody, if you would have told me that before the season, I would have said you were crazy. Yeah, and that coach, my gosh, he's really done some good things with that team. Yeah, I like Mike Zimmer. Yeah. You know, he's the Kim Anderson of the Vikings. Okay. You know, he brings that to the, to the he, table. Yeah, true. For the Vikings. In any event, that's kind of what kicks off your year, right? The game event? It does. Yeah, there's, there's stuff going on this month. It does. I do want to mention, though, tomorrow night, uh, Thursday, January 7th, we have our salute to our 40 Under 40 program that we did in 2015, where we honored 40 individuals under 40 years old, and that came to fruition from the city's visioning process. We partnered with them a little bit on the visioning process, and we decided that what is Fairville going to look like in 2040? And then we got to talking as we do over coffee in the morning, and this 40 under 40, 40 individuals under 40 years old that are making a difference and are already leaving their footprint in the city of Fairwell. So we will bring them all together tomorrow night at the Elks from 4.30 to 6.30. Uh, it is open to the public uh, for folks that want to come and um, congratulate these honorees. We have a program. Um, Fairwell Foods is our sponsor for the event tomorrow night, although Fairwell Daily News and Excel Energy partnered with us throughout the year. We'll be giving some awards out to our 40 honorees, and Gary Kinseth will be our keynote speaker from Fairbow Foods, longtime Fairbow champion. He'll be talking about how he became a leader and how he started and the different uh, paths that he took throughout his professional career and, and how important it is to give back. And we'll hear a great message, I'm sure, from, from Gary. Um, and then we'll salute these folks and call it good. I guess we'll put another successful program to bed, but we won't forget these folks. Right. Gary's a former mayor, former council member. He was with Terrible Foods when I came to town, left them for a while, came back to run right. Terrible Foods. Yep. And, you know, as they're doing that huge, huge expansion, he's leading the charge on that. And um, the mayor was saying the other day, it's over $100 million. And it, and yes, money. and they say that it will be the largest expansion in our lifetime. So this is something to take note of, people. You know, be grateful that we have a company that recognizes that Fairbowl can offer what it needs to grow its business. Well, as I said to the mayor, and he agreed, they could have gone anywhere. They could have gone anywhere. You're absolutely right. As could have Sage or Sankaban when they did their expansion. And... Um, uh, Aldi, you know, they, they could have gone many, many places. They chose to come here, and we need to um, be grateful for that and another reason for us to shop local and support local. Absolutely right. I couldn't have said it better myself. 
Yeah, so we, you know, we have the 40 Under 40 event tomorrow night at the Elks. We have our gala coming up in April. We'll have our 25th Business Expo. 25 years we've been doing that. So this year we want to really put something, I don't know if a twist is the right word, but we want to make it a, a really stellar event. It, uh, silver for Silver anniversary, years. yep. Um, so it really is a business to business networking event, but open to the public. Uh, I believe the date is Thursday, April 21st. Oh, the soft top of your head. Yeah, I believe that's right. Um, but it will be at the ICE Arena again, and um, information going out to our exhibitors um, probably in the next week or so. And uh, that event will be sponsored by Consolidated Communications. And uh, we will um, hopefully have some news on that real soon about what's going to be happening there. We will be, I believe, hopefully, partnering with our Workforce Development Committee and maybe the schools and bringing out students again to go through so that they can see business opportunities and career opportunities in Faribault. So we want to continually be focusing on our young people so that they know that they can live in Faribault, work in Faribault, make an honest living that supports their lifestyle. There's more here than sometimes meets the eye. Right. Well, you know where it is, right? I mean, what it's like when wherever you grow up, you want to get away from there. Oh, the world is your oyster, right? You know, <laughs> the, the grass is always greener on the other side, maybe. <coughs> and and so, um, you know, we want young people to know that Fribble is a place they can raise a family and buy a home and, and do the things that, that families do. Yeah, but I've noticed a lot of people who've gone on to college after leaving here, they come back. They do. Um, and Some of them in your 40 under 40, by the way. Some of them in our, yeah, absolutely. And a lot of these folks have taken over family businesses or started their own business or gone into uh, an existing business and are bringing really good stuff to the table. So uh, we are fortunate that we have a great young business base, you know, folks that want to live in a community that's family friendly and has, uh, you know, we have good educational system, we have fabulous health care, we have places to eat and shop, so we, you know, Fairbo is really, in a nutshell, Fairbo is it, we got it right here. Yeah, and yet, you know, close enough to the metro too for those folks that well, you know, let's be honest. You can't and and you can't get everything here. You can get just about everything here. Yep. But if you can't find it in Faribault, yes, Burnsville or the Metro or Rochester are are close. Um, but we really hope that we're offering things and Faribault and people choose to shop Faribault first because in order for you know, for, in order for the car dealership to survive, to pay their staff so their people can go and buy shoes and get haircuts and get their teeth fixed and buy clothing and jewelry, you know, that the cycle of that dollar is about five times, five or seven times, I think. So um, people need to be conscious of, of shopping Fairbow and spending their money here. If they're making it here, they need to spend it here. Perfect. Perfect. That's what we want to see. We want to see them out spending their money in Faribault, supporting our local businesses. Um, and, you know, that's something that we, we have on our slate at the Chamber. We have the I Get It Shop Local, um, which encourages residents and businesses to make conscious decisions to purchase services locally. So that is a, another thing that we do. Um, our business advocates group, they... Um, are kind of uh, make recommendations to our board. Um, they want to help position statements. They host legislative events. Um, we want to be the eyes and the ears for our members so that they can run their business, so that if there's something happening at the city or state or county level, we can engage in that for them, on behalf of them, represent them, 
and they can run their business and they know that we have their back, that we are going to keep them informed and that uh, time sensitive uh, side of that. So uh, they know that we have their well-being um, uh, and, and that side of the business for them, we have that covered and they can just concentrate on running their business, keeping their doors open. So business advocates is something else. Um, we have an HR peer group where we bring HR people together to talk about um, situations happening in their work and, and what one business may be doing that another business could piggyback off of. Um, you know, we have uh, the, the tr we're the agency for the tourism office. Uh, we, ha we hold the contract for that with the city and uh, with our members that are not on the tourism commission, we have a tourism think tank and we'll be bringing members together that have an investment in tourism and asking them what's important to them, what, what do you need uh, from the tourism commission, how can we help you uh, and working collaboratively with the tourism director, Nora Johnson. So lots of things. We also tomorrow have a YPRO event at South Central College um, and YPRO, uh, the focus of that is to build relationships, provide educational professional development and create awareness of community issues for anyone 21 to 39, though it's not a hard and fast rule that you have to be under 39. Um, but growing your business uh, professionally as a young person is important. And that goes back to the 40 under 40 uh, piece. Many of the 40 under 40 honorees are active in the YPRO club. So there's a lunch tomorrow at South Central College. If you want to learn more about YPRO and how you can engage in that, call us at the chamber, 334-4381, and let us know you want to attend tomorrow from noon to one in the conference center at South Central College. There'll be an overview of what YPRO is and talking about different ways to engage through the chamber uh, as a YPRO participant. Great. Mark Larson again is with us from the February Chamber. Tomorrow, Jerry hosts the show. Ag Marketing Specialist from the U of M, Ed Usset, with the Center for Farm Financial Management, will be Jerry's guest. And then on Friday, we'll be visiting with Carter Martin of the Paradise Center for the Arts. They've got some upcoming events this weekend. I know they're opening up a new uh, artist in the gallery, I believe. That's true. That's true. And I do have to say just quickly that the Paradise Center is really a gem for us in our downtown, in our Main Street district. We are so fortunate to have that, and it is really getting to be a, a well-known piece of Fairbow in the region. Yeah. And so, yeah, boy oh boy. A lot of South Metro people come yep. here to enjoy our paradise. Even folks from Austin and Albert Lee are, are coming, and Mankato, and over, not as, maybe as far as Rochester, but over that way. So. It is a draw. It is. We are blessed to have that in our community. We certainly are. I've said that all along. That and uh, Riverbend Nature Center. Is Riverbend Nature the Center. Yep. Here. Yep. And they have a, a fat tire bike event <coughs> coming up. So you can check on Riverbend uh, website for details on that. You know the Cheese Cave, another uh, destination location downtown in our our district, F Town really, really taken off. Um, we are just, you know, we're, we're f I don't want to say we're full. There's always room for more. Yeah. But we really do have a nice plethora of diverse, fun things to do when you come to Fairbow or if you live here to go and go downtown and check us out or, or check out Farmer Seed and Nursery or the mall or uh, any of the uh, other places throughout the community. You know, antiques, a couple antique places yeah. downtown. Uh, yeah. An antiquer. Yeah, and uh, you know Jan's thrift shop, Jan Hansen. Her family is going to soon be celebrating 50 years of having uh, the thrift shop. So, boy oh boy, success many many places for our local businesses. For sure, Fairbow Senior Center, you know, has their fashions on Central. Yes, and of course. They are uh, leading the charge on their expansion piece, and that is 
you know, as our community ages, as, as we slowly creep into those years, that is just a, a, another gem for us. And the mayor told us the other day on our New Year's Eve, annual New Year's Eve visit, that we're going to see improvements out of Bell Field, the baseball park here in town. Yeah, Handicap you know. accessibility, that sort of thing. That That's awesome. And Fairville hosts many ball tournaments throughout the summer. So, you know, we need to remember that those folks are coming and shopping in our stores and eating in our restaurants and staying in our hotels and, and lodging places and, and the people that come to camp and fish and snowmobile right now. My gosh, we really, we, we just, you know, we just are, have, have everything, something for everyone here in Fairville. Absolutely. Well, Barb, thanks for coming in. Well, thanks for having us, and I want to wish, wish your listeners, the listeners here on KDHL, a happy new year. We hope that it's healthy and prosperous for for everyone. And if you have questions about the community, about a business, anything that's going on, I encourage you to give us a call. Our staff, um, we we hope we know most everything that's going on. You know, there are things that get by us where only human and if we don't hear about it we don't know but yeah. call us with your questions 334-4381 or visit us on our website fairboatmn.org and if you have suggestions or something you'd like us to be doing or engaging in we encourage you to contact us where our doors are open yeah you have a really nice website we do we we do our best to keep it updated you know that's another chore that yeah. takes another person but you know we do our best we have a facebook page like us there and uh, the Main Street page, the tourism page, all of those things. Um, you know, we encourage you to visit those and let us know how we're doing. All right. Thanks again, Bob. Thank you. Barb Larson joining us this morning on AM Minnesota. We look forward to our visits. We've uh, The Chambers agreed to come on every month as they did the last couple of years and same with Main Street. We appreciate 